Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. This is me all just up and awake, and you can hear the kettle going in the background. I just let the dogs out, and I'm about to have a cup of coffee to wake myself up. So um, today, I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating, because I haven't done it in a while. Um, I'm just gonna let the dogs in, because it's pretty miserable out. Um, it's all wet and horrible, and autumnal, wintry weather, so. Uh, I'm just going to get myself ready, take you through a full day of eating, which will include my supplements, my coffees, everything I put in my gob. So we're going to do that, and I hope you enjoy the video! Right there. coffee ready I do a little bit of a squirt of the Candrel Zero and some of this chocolate Kaliki of Arms because then it makes it kind of like a maca and the dogs are munching away on their food so they eat Wainwright's grain free food and it's meat free as well so it's a salmon and sweet potato mix because just meat doesn't agree with their systems it makes them a little bit too stinky and for their teeth, I add a little bit of this. It's this like plaque stuff. Kind of looks like um, seaweed. Uh, but we just add a little bit of that to their food and it really does help clean their gums because they don't really like us brushing their teeth. And then we add some of this salmon oil for their coats. That's the dog's food, my coffee. I've also made like a cup of tea. You can see my skin looking really good right now. I'm literally just up, so nothing on it, not even moisturiser. And about three weeks ago, I got the Profilo um, second treatment done. And you can see, like, I am quite tired, but um, it definitely has smoothed out the lines, especially under here. Like, you can still see I have kind of an indent there where I lie on this side. But it's definitely really improved. I don't have any smile lines here anymore, laughter lines. And um, I used to get Botox for them and the last time I didn't. So it's literally saving me on Botox as well. Um, I do have a big zip there, but ignore the zip there because that's nothing to do with the profile. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it really does help guys. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch my previous video because it's on that and it explains it all. So I have Fixed myself up, showered, styled the hair, and um, I'm in my women's best clothing, ready to gym straight after getting my lashes done. So we're just going to make these a bit more awesome. But before I go to the gym, I'm going to take my supplements. By the time this video goes live, Women's Best Black Friday sale will have begun. So you can get a myriad of supplements, clothing, whatever you want. You'll see the products that I'm using throughout the day, as this is a full day of eating. They are giving up to 75% off all of their products. So go check it out. I'll give you a link down below. It is running for the next couple of weeks in the run up to Black Friday. Now to go and take my vitamins and then get to the gym. I've downed my coffee. So these are the supplements I'll be taking today. I always, always, always take zinc. It's just a really good cell rejuvenator. It's great for your skin, muscles, everything, and definitely an essential in my diet. I have always taken this. Then we have some sea kelp, which is iodine. The iodine in this is just really good for um, a good healthy metabolism for your thyroid. So I just take this once a day. Then we've got some selenium, again, great for skin, hair, nails, and also just for thyroid function. And then the N-acetyl L-tyrosine, I take two of these. And again, for a healthy thyroid. Um, and I'm gonna take all this water because yesterday I didn't drink enough. As we get older, our thyroid function can just dissipate a bit, especially as women. So that is why I'm doing everything in my power to keep it all ticking over nicely. 
hypothyroidism um, is like a big issue with women particularly um, as you get a little bit older and uh, what it means is that there's a lack of um, your thyroid hormones being produced so in some cases you may need medication you can just go and get um, tested by your doctor for your thyroid hormones if you have an underactive thyroid this can lead to feeling fatigued it can lead to weight gain and a number of other symptoms so I found previously that I had a lot of kind of symptoms of hypothyroidism and I felt like it, my my results were just on the kind of cusp of being hypothyroid so instead of taking medication I'm just doing supplements which can really help to boost that so that's my little tip of the day for a healthy thyroid hello hello puppies I'm finally back in from getting my lashes done as you can see they're awesome and um, from going to the gym I had good intentions of recording my workout but then I forgot my tripod and I wasn't all into the jazz of trying to figure out how to balance my camera so um, I went to Aldi to get some yogurts and came out with like half the store got some squished raspberries that were half price got these for Lex which are the gluten-free nut bars, which kind of taste like the kind bars, except the price for four of them is pretty much the price of one kind bar, so winning. Um, I've got some lean turkey mints because I'm going to make some Christmas burgers for me and Lex for dinner. I've got some uh, Christmassy stuffing, which is going to be used to make the burgers. I've got some cranberry sauce which also is going to go on the burgers because they're Christmas burgers honestly so I pretty much have the ingredients for dinner uh, then we have some Moroccan grain so Aldi do these little packets which are really handy uh, if you're in a rush they just microwave in three minutes they're full of health this one is a bulge of wheat uh, chickpeas red quinoa and um, mixed with herbs and spices a Moroccan style one and the macros on it are really good uh, for 100 grams is 3.4 grams of fat and 15 carbs so usually I'll have about half of the thing which is 150 grams so this yummy for dinner then we've got some rocket for on our burgers I like rocket I get these for Lex all the time they're the Greek style lemon yogurt they're like full fat 8.3 grams of fat per 100 uh, 3.5 grams of protein and 10 grams of carbs so he'll eat like a half tub of that easy uh, I however love these and in Ireland you can get them in Dunn stores because I've seen them there I got them there when I was at home and they have 16 grams of protein in one no fat and um, only like five grams of carbs and they are my favorite protein yogurt they're the nicest taste you can actually see the vanilla pot in them so it's not like a synthetic vanilla flavor I think that's it well, I got some Christmas and stuff like Christmas cards and crap like that in uh, I'm gonna have a coffee feed the dogs walk them have some breakfast because I've still fasted so um it's been a long fast i had a coffee and costa which was a coconut milk flat white before i went to the gym but i've literally just not eaten anything so i'm ready to fall over right now so i'm going to have uh, some of my protein oats i also have a delivery from women's best so i'll take you through that so for breakfast slash lunch brunch whatever you want to call it i have 35 grams of this empty one of the flavins quick oats and i like to add a pinch of salt and then water so i just eyeball so once you add the water i just stick it in the microwave for a minute and then I get my special protein ingredients out. So I'm gonna add 50 grams of the Happy Egg Company egg whites, and then I'm gonna add some protein powder. So I'm gonna use the salted caramel fit way from Women's Best, because I quite like that. And then we'll add some yummy toppings just to make it a little bit more special. So I've added in my egg whites, I'm just stirring it through. And then I'm gonna pop it back in the microwave 30 second intervals so 30 seconds on full power stir it another 30 seconds and then we add our protein powder so I've just added a little bit more water to the top of 
the porridge and I'm just mixing in my protein. You can add it in at the start, but I just think it's um, less clumpy when you do it this way, if you add it in at the end. This is my little method, so you can get it. It just makes it really cakey, as opposed to lumpy and gross. This is how it looks now. All ready to go, and I'm gonna to top it with two of these yummy, yummy things from heaven. So these are the protein bites. They're kind of like the Ferrero Rocher's. So I'm gonna put two of them on top. Macros are awesome. So for all eight of them, it's 6.1 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. But I'm just gonna have two of them on there just to add a little bit of yumminess to my bowl of oats. There we have it. Yummy, yummy protein oats ready to break the fast. So I am just in, as you can see, I'm a little bit wet from walking the dogs. And I just wanted to show you these because they're awesome. I have these for the dogs. They're like little lights that you can put on their collar. Let me just change them. And just got them on Amazon and they're really handy. But as well, you can put them on, like, on your keys and stuff like that. But I use it on the dogs when it's dark out and I'm walking the dogs. And then this is my light, which is actually a ring light for when you're vlogging. Because you go like that. But if you put it on yourself, then you've got like a little walking your dogs light. So, handy. Quickly going to take you through what I got from Women's Best. As you can see, I've already had a couple of these. Because they're awesome. And this is what I got for this month. A few little things, bits and bobs that I really like. So we have the protein bites that are coconutty goodness. Um, they're just a nice little treat to have with a coffee. Got the gluten-free protein Oreos, which me and Lex both like to snack on. They're super tasty. I am in love with these protein crisps. They're super salty. If you're opposed to things that are a bit too salty, maybe avoid them, but they've really good macros and high in flavor. Then the protein bars. I haven't actually tried this flavor yet, the coconut crunch. I've had the peanut one and I've had the hazelnut one. I do like the peanut one, but I just decided to give the coconut crunch a try. The True Beauty Collagen is a daily staple for me. I add it to a shake with some berries and some ice and mix it all up and it's just really really good and packed full of collagen good for your skin and hair and nails then we've got the zinc which as i said earlier essential for its cell rejuvenation and we've got some nighttime casein protein now this is good if you are someone who wakes up hungry or tends to be hungry during the night time or wakes up super hungry in the morning so it's a slow release protein i would tend to add it to some yogurt and make it into a slight dessert kind of thing and um it just tastes good and keeps you fuller for longer so the black friday sale is starting on sunday the 17th of november so go check that out if you want to get up to 75 percent off all of the women's best products that includes apparel nutrition food everything so go check it out so i'm just having a coconut milk coffee and i've just had two more of these but they're really good they're just far too easy to eat they're like a proper little truffle mm. but i could literally eat the whole pack and it wouldn't affect my intake today but i won't i won't I'll, I'll save them because they are quite tasty. Nice little treat for with your coffee. Getting dinner on now, and right now I'm just preparing some sweet potato fries. I'm also making my Christmas burgers or Thanksgiving burgers, wherever you're from. And in here we have a bowl with some melted coconut oil. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic granules, some salt and pepper, and then I'm literally just going to toss the um, chopped up sweet potatoes in the oil and the seasoning. Bang them in the oven for about 40 minutes and get on with making my turkey burgers. So the sweet potato fries are ready to go in the oven. I have it preheating to about 200 degrees, so extra hot. 
and just leave them in there for about 40 minutes. So this is our turkey burger in the making. We've got 150 grams of the turkey mince. You could make it bigger if you wanted, but that's sufficient protein for me. As it's a Christmas burger, I've added 10 grams of the cranberry orange chestnut stuffing. That's like a limited edition one from Aldi that I picked up today. I've also seasoned with some salt and some pepper, and now I'm going to add in to the middle. So as you can see, I've just kind of mixed it all together, flattened it out. And now I'm gonna add in 20 grams of the Laughing Cow light cheese. And when you bite into that, all this cheese is gonna ooze out and make it delicious. And there we have our perfect little cheese filled turkey burger. And this is gonna taste amazing. The burgers are almost done. Just been frying them for the past 10 minutes or so. So about five minutes each side. So they get a nice brown color. And then I've got a low fat easy single. And you wanna put one on each burger. And then just let that melt. I've reduced the heat down now. And it's gonna be a super cheesy Christmas burger. So here we have some delicious Christmas burgers. I've added some bacon medallions to mine. We've got some rocket salad that I just picked up in Aldi. I've got some of this cranberry smooth sauce and just in a nice thin, ready to be munched. And there we have the perfect sweet potato fries for Lex. Dinner for two. So dinner has been demolished and moving on to dessert which is 20 grams of the chocolate casein from Women's Best mixed with some of that vanilla yogurt from Aldi. And then I just put some crunchy peanut butter on top to get my fats in because I haven't eaten enough today really. So I'm gonna have this and then just chill out for the evening. It's dark and miserable out. So it's like a pudding. I'm gonna finish off my day with a Pepsi Max. I know it's calorie free. I know they're not good for you but it is my only bad addiction. So I'll have one of these and I'll watch some TV and get an early night. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you tune in next time for my next video, which I've already recorded, which is a fun one. See you soon. Yeah, I'm soup, man. I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, girl, you can sit on me. Cause, bitch, they be hating on me.